In 2017, someone was walking along Loudon Brook in Trenton when they smelled something unpleasant in the water. Environment and Climate Change Canada got wind of it too, and they sent instructions to clean it up. But for two years, nothing happened. There was a blockage in a pipe that was supposed to carry that wastewater to a nearby treatment facility. Now, the initial warnings from the federal government to clean it up fell on deaf ears. It was, though, eventually all cleared up by 2020. This month, the town of Trenton was fined $100,000 and is now listed on the Environmental Offenders Registry. Trenton's new CAO says what they're trying to do now is earn back the community's trust. The town is making strides to ensure that it doesn't happen again, and the town took full ownership and pled guilty, right, did not go to a trial. Now, the volume of raw wastewater that ended up in Loudons Brook was never really measured. The CAO told me that two years is a long time, and if you're told to clean it up and you don't, it's not surprising that the town was hit with such a substantial fine. But when it comes to releasing wastewater into the environment, sometimes it's cases like Trenton, other times it's by design. Let's look at CBRM. There's a treatment plant there, but the municipality's website admits that raw sewage is, quote, sometimes discharged directly into the environment without treatment. And then there's HRM. If running within capacity, wastewater mixed with stormwater is sent to the treatment facility where it's screened twice and disinfected with ultraviolet light. Sometimes, though, like during last year's heavy rains, it overflows. In 2023, Halifax sent 4.6 billion liters of CSO, that's wastewater and stormwater combined, into Halifax Harbor. So that's about 1,840 Olympic-sized swimming pools. Or to put it another way, 11% of all the wastewater generated in Halifax ended up in the harbor last year. It was screened, but it wasn't treated. Bottom line is, when it comes to treatment plants, no matter who builds them or who operates them, they are designed to overflow. And every municipality in the province is struggling to build infrastructure to keep up with more intense storms and a growing population. Preston Mulligan, CBC News, Halifax.